Welcome to Ginger Snaps Glass. I'm going to take you from a beginning stained glass artist all the way up to an advanced student in no time at all. Hit like and subscribe to follow me for more tips and information. Today we're going to be doing some very basic soldering techniques. And remember, keep soldering on. Make sure that we're holding the soldering iron nice and firm and flat in our dominant hand. I generally show everyone right handed. I will be having some left handed videos coming up. Um, but most of the time you're gonna you're gonna see it with the right hand in. So, or I'll try to say, you know, use your dominant hand. So we hold the soldering iron nice and firm and flat, kind of like a like a drumstick, like either a chicken drumstick or an actual drumstick. We wanna we wanna hold that really good and firm. You will see me from time to time holding it incorrectly, but I'm a very firm believer in the statement of do what I say, not what I do. So you'll see the soldering um, comes along a lot smoother if you're holding that tip nice and firm and flat. And also, don't don't be alarmed if someone is like, oh my goodness, that's the worst way. You shouldn't be doing that. That's wrong. That's wrong. A lot of people have different opinions. So I'm just going by what I was taught. And I was trained in a studio here in Baltimore by a master stained glass artist. She has dominated the world of custom stained glass art and also renovations and restorations. So I basically follow what, I, what I've been told and taught with her. I also find that as I teach people, that it's a consistency in teaching that makes it easy for just about anyone to be able to pick it up. There are several different ways to cut glass, there's several different ways to solder, but we definitely want to go with the easiest, most consistent way, making sure that anyone of pretty much any age can take this craft and make it their own. I mean, we do have students as young as eight sometimes in the studio. Of course, they're under strict supervision and we watch everything that they do like a hawk, as do their parents. And there's certain things we don't actually let them do, but we definitely let them come in and start their, their craft. It's like any other hobby or activity or career. You really have to just practice and keep going at it. So remember, holding the soldering iron nice and firm and flat is going to be the absolute most successful way for you. Okay, we're almost done now. As you can see at the very end, I went around the outside edges of my project with just the soldering iron. That's called tinning. We'll have a lesson on that soon. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Click the little bell at the bottom. You can see my upcoming classes. And remember, solder on.